my channel this is unique skin I'm glad uh, you tuned in to watch today's video today I'll be making a face exfoliating toner from scratch this face exfoliating toner it's so good to exfoliate your face and it also serve as a face toner it is totally different from uh, a facial cleanser it is actually used after you have must have used your facial cleanser then you use this exfoliating uh, facial toner this is really good because this has like two um packs in one so it serves as a facial exfoliator and it's also uh, a facial toner so i'll go ahead and introduce my ingredients i'll be using polysorbate 80 uh, Polysorbate 80, uh, it's used as a solubilizer here. I'll be using my preservative, okay? I'll be using uh, my uh, one uh, ingredient, which is uh, orange blossom water as my dil uh, diluent. I'll also be using glycolic acid as my AHA. Uh, I'll be using glycerin, lemon glycerin okay guys make sure the lemon glycerin you'll be using is a facial friendly uh lemon i mean glycerin it's not compulsory you actually use a lemon glycerin you can use a normal glycerin but make sure is the one that is fish uh friendly okay and um i'll be using tea tree essential oil i choose to use tea tree essential oil because it is very good for acne okay it helps to reduce acne on the face please guys please do subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification bell to be alerted anytime i upload a new video beautiful videos like this also click the like button and always leave your comment down below okay leave your comment down below let me know how um, how you feel about the product if you've made it uh let me know what you think about uh the the video okay guys we'll go ahead and start our measurement first i would like to turn on my scale i will give this a tie okay then we'll go ahead and measure our orange blossom water which is 42.5 okay 42.5 gram okay this is our orange blossom water we keep this aside i will uh go ahead and measure the lightning glycerin be using this for my lightning glycerin so my lightning glycerin my lightning glycerin is 2.50 okay then the next thing for me to measure is my tea tree essential oil i will measure my tea tree essential oil here and my tea tree essential oil uh, is 0 0.5 okay cool The next thing for me to measure is my polysorbate 80. So I'll go ahead and measure my polysorbate 80, which is going to be 1.5. 1 1.5. 1 OK. 
quer. I keep this aside. Then um, the next thing is for me to measure my glycolic acid, which is 2.5. Okay. Cool. All right. At this point, we are done with the measurement. I keep this scale aside. So we'll be mixing right now. So the first thing is to get the uh, orange blossom water. I will name this. Uh, I will name this jar as face A. Okay. So our face A. All we need to do is add the glycolic acid into it into the uh, orange blossom water then you stir so the next uh we will add on the face a is the lightning glycerin Okay, we keep this aside, then we stay. Okay, so make sure you stay properly. Okay, so we're going to be keeping this aside, then we go to our next phase, which is the phase B. So this is the phase B and the phase B, this we have polysorbate 80. So what we're going to do is we'll be adding the essential oil into the polysorbate 80. And make sure you stir, mix. Okay, good. Okay, at this point, you just get the face A. This is face A and this is face B. I'll be mixing both together. So at this point, I'll just add the face B into the face A. And you mix make sure to mix properly okay if you are doing a large batch you could use uh, like a mix mixer hand mixer okay to blend the whole thing properly because i'm doing a small batch so what i'll be doing is um i'll be mixing it with my hand mixer my little hand mixer it's okay to have uh, some foaming okay it's okay to have some foaming it's definitely going to cool down back Depending on the uh, polysorbate you are using, some polysorbate uh, forms and some don't. So, depending the kind of polysorbate you are using, my it tend to form. So, don't be surprised when you get uh, forms like this. It's definitely going to get uh, cleared back, okay? As you can see is clearing so I'll be mixing it more so that the whole thing 
we blend properly okay I'll just wait for the foam to come down which is definitely going to reduce this is a very lovely uh, homemade toner you can actually do by yourself okay at home and you can control the uh, ingredients which you use okay you can also decide to change the uh, essential oil if you fit if you are the kind of person that don't really have so much acne okay you can decide to give a flavor to your um, toner you can change the essential oil uh, you, you can decide to use something else instead of uh, tea tree essential oil so at this point I'll be adding my preservative and my preservative is 0 0.5 okay okay good so since we've secured our toner with our preservative all we have to do is blend mix again okay make sure the whole thing circulates properly as you can see i'm still mixing it i just want to make sure the whole thing blends properly okay like I said, if you are uh, doing making a larger batch, you probably need to use a hand mixer that is bigger than this. But because I'm doing a small batch, that's why I'm using my small hand mixer. Okay. So, let's just try to take off the foam which will definitely go off so that you can see our final products okay let's give it some time you see the foam is coming out gradually of course it's gonna clear uh, as you can see that the whole foam is cleared okay and you probably can see uh the light uh the color of the toner and um this is our uh this is the result of our toner and you see everything is well mixed and will also preserved it uh as you can see the whole thing is off uh cleared off the foam is gone and this is our last um, result of our exfoliating facial toner okay so i'll just be putting this in its container You can just store this at uh, at a room temperature. You don't have to put it in the freezer or I mean in the fridge because we already added a preservative. So this is good to be used. Uh, this is the final production of our exfoliating face toner. Okay. Uh, please guys try and make the simple face toner and it's very effective okay it's very effective and make sure uh the glycolic acid you guys are gonna use 
make sure you test your skin try and try from a uh, start from a lower percentage okay uh do not use a very high percentage of uh aha uh -huh if you have not used it before try to start from a very low percentage and you can gradually climb up okay don't just go and use a very high percentage you might damage your skin okay thank you guys for tuning in this is our poly i mean this is our exfoliating facial toner please do try this at home thank you for tuning in thank you for watching my video this is the end of my video i appreciate please guys please subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification bell to be alerted anytime i upload a new video also leave your comment down below click the like button and please guys share my video and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching my video today thank you i'll be 